Hey, what's up guys, Kooded here, and today I have episode 7 and the final episode of our Road to Advanced Warfare slash throwback series. This gameplay should be probably one of the most important, this is the best gameplay I've ever gotten in Black Ops 2. This is a triple nuclear uh, with the Advanced Warfare camo. This gameplay happened in around May, this was like May 26th to May 28th, I believe. This is when I was just getting my channel first started up again, this is probably my third upload since I started up the channel after the long hiatus. And this, if it wasn't for this gameplay, you guys probably wouldn't be hearing me right now on the mic. Uh, if you talk to every YouTuber, I, I honestly do believe that every YouTuber has a gameplay that's very special to them and really opened up their eyes to their true potential and uh, kind of motivated them to go for gameplays and become popular on YouTube. And this is the gameplay that did it for me. Uh, up until this point, I kind of thought that my COD career was over. I, I, was really, I was really angry with how bad that Ghost was. I was really angry at myself because I thought Ghost, I thought the reason why I hated Ghost was because I wasn't good at it, but I was just really frustrated with how uh, Ghost was. I was really frustrated with the fact that I wasn't playing the new call, the newest Call of Duty I, and I wasn't enjoying it. And when the time I made this video, I just wanted to get my name back out there on the market but as you guys knew that uh, around May it wasn't you didn't have everyone on Black Ops 2 like you do now you never saw 200,000 most you saw was like 140,000 at the most and 130,000 was a big number so this game coming into this gameplay I was really frustrated I was really angry I came specifically into uh, into multi-team to to get to get a good gameplay uh, I came into multi-team with the triple nuclear on my mind, with a double nuclear on my mind, possibly even dropping a quad nuclear. I came, I came into this game mode angry. I came into the game mode focused, and that's how I got the gameplay. I was playing with a chip on my shoulder, I guess you could say, but I was staying under control. I was playing how I knew how to play, and I was just really focused and really determined to get this gameplay no matter what. And that's what ended up happening. I ended up, uh, I ended up just doing what I do best, and I caught and I caught a really good gameplay. And I'm really, I'm really proud of myself because, in the, like I said, around this time I was really frustrated. I'm pretty sure anybody that did come from Call of Duty Ghost and decided to uh, to get on this game was very frustrated as well. They were probably confused. Like I, I was really confused. I didn't know if it was me that was bad at the game, or if, or if I was uh, just not enjoying Ghost. I, it, I was just, it was a really frustrating thing for me to not know what the deal was and. Hopefully this doesn't happen. It's not going to happen in Advanced Warfare. I'm going to grind out Advanced Warfare to no end. And as I promised in my last video is uh, I'm going to be doing my final stat reveal uh, at the end of this video for Black Ops 2. It's the final stats. It's all done. It's been two years in this game and it's kind of weird to say goodbye to it, I guess you could say. And the people I had in my gameplay with me before we get into this was I had Visions. I already introduced him. He's a really great player. He's a young kid. Has really good potential to be one of the best Call of Duty players, I believe. He's still young, but he'll get there. Sharpness, a Canadian. <laughs> He's a really good Call of Duty player. He knows how to win. He knows how to streak. He knows how to do it all. He's a good player. Not the best eights player, but a really good uh, pub stomper. But it's it's kind of a, it's kind of crazy. Two years on this game, you know, hitting episode seven of this series and. To be honest, the whole point of this series was for people that are in my position that have been on Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for two years. It, the, the purpose of me making this is I want you guys to think the way I'm thinking. I want you guys to think about how many people you've met on, uh, on this game. How many people you've met on Black Ops 2 in the past two years. How many people you met if you've been playing Modern Warfare 3 this whole time, you've met in the past three years. I just want people to to think about what I'm saying here, and it's just it's kind of weird. I want I want Advanced Warfare to come out. I really want Advanced Warfare to come out, but I miss the relationships that I've created on. Uh, I'm, I'm I already miss the relationships I've, I've I've created on Black Ops 2, either good or bad, even if Advanced Warfare didn't come out yet. And uh, I, I guess it's you could call me crazy for saying that, but. It's just so weird. If you play two, I've been playing with the same people for two years. Two years with the exact same people almost every single day. Obviously, some people come and go, but for the most part, it's been for at least two or three people for the past two years. And it's, I think it's just really crazy that in two years, I've met these many people.
made some really good uh, friendships, maybe uh, had some bad friendships, but it's just crazy how it's going to end. And, you know, it's it bring like just doing the series, you guys saw how I improved as a player. I was a guy who was just running lethals every single match. I was a guy who didn't care too much about winning. I was the guy who just thought getting 200 plus a game, being a dickhead to my teammates, you know, t having them do all the objective work while I went ham. I thought that that was the thing to do. And to be honest, being on Black Ops 2 for another year, running a clan, having it collapse, closing it down, it, it taught me a lot. It taught me, it made me a better player, a way better player. It taught me to, to how to get along with other people. That's that's for sure. And uh, how to call shots the right way, something a lot of people don't know how to do. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be seeing Advanced Warfare on, on this channel. Uh, tomorrow you, you're you going to see a picture of me and Violator on Twitter together, which is going to be crazy. I can't wait to do that. And just thinking about it, like everything that has gone down in the past two years on this game, it's actually going to be – this is going to be two or three years if the if Ghost – this was the year of Ghost, the year is why, yeah, it's going to be, if you were to play it again for this year, which is not going to happen, that would be three years, and that's crazy, two years on one game, I never thought that would happen, I'm always, I, I know you, if you guys are the same as me, and I'm pretty sure, in this perspective, we all, we all share the same uh, viewpoint about this, is that everybody in this, in, that's watching this video, Everyone loves the new Call of Duty. The new Call of Duty is dope until Christmas. And then after Christmas, at least for me, every Call of Duty after Christmas has been absolutely, utterly trash besides this game, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, and COD 4. Oh, I, I, only, I, I got COD 4 for Christmas, so... Uh, Ghost was really bad after after December. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 was okay after December. Still wasn't the best, but they ended up fixing a lot in around January. So pretty much the best games after Christmas was probably Black Ops 2, uh, Black Ops 1, and Modern Warfare 3 for the most part. Modern Warfare 2 really got plagued after Christmas. COD 4 never really played after Christmas. And World of War got good after Christmas, but we're not going to consider those because they're so old. So... And there's been there's been a lot of uh, a lot of games that have failed. Like Ghost is a really big disappointment. I know to a lot of people, Modern Warfare 3 is a big disappointment. To a really big majority of people, this game was a disappointment that you're watching here. So it's up to Advanced Warfare to save the series, in my opinion. And you know, I'm I don't. It just sucks that I that I'm leaving a game where I played with people for two years now. And I'll, hopefully, you guys think the same. But this is going to be the last Black Ops 2 gameplay that you guys are going to see from me in a lot in a long time probably forever so hope you guys enjoyed the final video 14,000 points 106 kills non-lethal and a triple nuclear you saw it here first captain cool dude yt stat reveals gonna be coming up in a few seconds i'm just gonna pause this commentary and then we'll start again so i'll talk to you guys a little bit all right so i'm introduced to stats here uh, obviously this is me let's go through barracks just show you I'm not really going to talk because you know how this stuff doesn't sync up. But I'll just show you camos and all that. So, obviously, I've I've gotten all uh, submachine guns. I have all submachine guns completed. Diamond, assault rifles, diamond, LMGs, diamond. Snipers never finished and shotguns never finished. Never found the point. No secondaries. Score streak challenge is pretty much all done. I don't honestly think you guys give a shit about that. So, let's take a look at the career. And look at K 33 days played, 9 hours, 16 minutes, 28 seconds, 533 KD, 793 win loss, 624 score per minute. I play league on this account. I do everything on this account. Uh, three, 13,117 headshots, 3,108 unstoppables, and 8 kill chains. I play every single match. My deadliest skill, kill streak was 22,454 kills to load star. Uh, we'll go over here to game modes. 3,276 games played in hard point. 11 uh, win loss and 189 win streak. Domination, 946 wins, 610 win loss. One current win streak and 63 uh, total win streak. We'll go through my medals. 
483 nuclears, 3,100 unstoppable, 744 brutals, 8 kill chains, fucking shitload of uh, double kills, 20, 25,000 double kills, so that's a lot. Top 3 weapons is the An-94, 61,000 kills, then the MSMC-24, and the Scar-H, and 19,000, then PDW, then FAL. The most used equipment obviously C4, EMP grenade, attack insert, shock charges from the beginning of the game. My three most used kill streaks is the UAV, Orbital VSAT, Counter UAV, Lightning Strike, Load Star, and Swarm. Uh, that was my final stats for Call of Duty, Go, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, I'll see you guys in Advanced Warfare. Peace out.